Yeah, I was. Um, as I said, till the end of the match, I didn't know he was injured. Uh, of course, um, you know, you want to be uh, to your opponents to be uh, full, uh, full shape, uh, healthy, and then tennis. You sometimes don't want them to play their best tennis, but uh, unfortunate that uh, he didn't feel good. Uh, I don't know what exactly he had, so I hope nothing serious. Um, but I was happy with my level and looking forward to next matches. Of course, a bit lucky with all the weather to, to be finished uh, in a good timing with my second round and getting ready for the third round. You faced a player uh, with physical problems, but did you manage to get into rhythm, exercise your game plan and gather more information about your level from this match? Thank you. Yeah, I did. As I say, you know, I felt like felt like first set, uh, well, I don't know his his internal feelings, but I again, I didn't know he was injured, so we were playing some tough points, some uh, uh, good rallies. I was moving well, I was serving well, I was feeling good on the court. So uh, again, I'm really happy with myself um, and looking forward because for sure the, the tougher the opponent, the tougher the score and uh, the tougher the matches itself. Looking ahead to your next match, you could face Thomas. He obviously beat Novak last week and Murray in Miami. Do you pay attention to those things and does that give him a bit more of a fear factor? Fear, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think I fear anyone, to be honest. But, uh, well, well, yeah, again, what you fear is that the guy is going to play everything on the line and that's when uh, they can uh, beat you. Um, and he's playing good at the moment. You know, he's going up the rankings, playing aggressive, uh, hitting the ball well having good uh, victories, I mean, final last week, so a lot of confidence. But Navon uh, also playing very good, so I'm definitely going to watch their match uh, because I don't know too much about both of their games, even if I played Thomas once. Uh, so I'm going to watch it, uh, see who wins and uh, get ready for the winner. Hi, Daniel. Uh, I don't know if you saw or heard uh, what Iga Sviantek said after her match last night to the crowd, asking them to keep things quiet during points. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just curious, you've had your own fun sometimes, interactions uh, and interplay with fans. Uh, I, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on the idea of whether it is important that the crowd stay quiet during a point and sort of what you feel about whether it's good, bad, doesn't matter. If there is sort of an extra level of rowdiness in a tennis crowd that maybe we are used to seeing at a football match or other sports. Yeah, I saw Iga's match. I didn't uh, didn't watch her interview. It was a great match and a great comeback, but I didn't see the interview. I think it's 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 very tough because uh, there are two ways. So right now, in a way, the um, like the kind of I would say unofficial rule or actually an official rule. Don't uh, don't uh, interrupt players before second serve and uh, when they're ready to serve and during the point. Personally, I like it because I think uh, I don't know if there are other sports than tennis and golf that have it, but because it's so technical and like I would say every millimeter of movement you change, the ball is going to go different sides. So uh, it. You know, if someone screams in your ear, the, your surf, you could double fault. That's as easy as that. And that's not good. At the other side, if there would be no this rule and it would be um, loud all the time, I think we would get used to it. Now what happens is that 95% of matches, tournaments, it's quiet. And then when suddenly you come to Roland Garros and it's not, you, it uh, disturbs you and it's a grand slam. So you get more stress and it's not easy. So. Uh, if you ask me, I like it quiet. I like it quiet. And again, when the, even when the crowd goes crazy, the, the player is uh, ready to serve, quiet, and let's serve, let's play. But uh, uh, I would also, th there is no in between. It's either should be quiet or super loud, but all the time. And then we would get used to it. I would get used to it also. And we would not actually com complain about it. So uh, yeah, for the moment, it's quiet. Hi, Daniel. This is an extension of um the earlier question. What, is, what has your relationship been with the French crowd? Do you find it particularly loud, or is it the same in other venues? Have you been at louder venues? Yeah. Um, 
I think playing French in Roland Garros is not easy, that's for sure. And that's, uh, I think, uh, a lot of players experience it. I would uh, say that in US Open and Wimbledon is not the same. Australia can be tough. I played Tanasi once there on a small court. It was oof, brutal. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think... You know, it's it's a it's a tough question. I think as I just responded, uh, it's good to have energy between points. But then, uh, when when you're ready to serve, it's okay. Let's finish it and let's let's play tennis. Same before first and second serve, and then when there is a changeover, when there is a between points, go uh, unleash yourself full. It's okay. But again, when when you're already bouncing the ball, you want to get ready for the serve. If it would be 10 years, we would be playing loud. We would not care. But for the moment, it's not like this. So when you get ready for serve, you want to toss the ball, then suddenly 10 people continue screaming. Uh, it disturbs you. It's not easy. So for the moment, let's try to be quiet. <laughs> Daniil, I don't think you've played a night match this year, but have you played the night session here before? I think you have. Yeah. Sorry. Night, you mean on center, because I finished midnight my <laughs> first match. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the, the Chatrier yeah. night session. Yeah, um, yeah. It's obviously been all men so far, this tournament. We don't, well, we haven't had a women's match on there yet. We only had one last year. I wonder if you think it's a bit disappointing when you've got matches like Shontek Osaka and they're not given the kind of billing that some of the other men's matches are. Well, that's a question to Amazon, because they decide and they probably want longer matches so and uh, men matches will be longer than women just because it's more more sets so it's a question to them they pay money um yeah so <laughs> not uh, not much more i can add but i i played yeah i played three night sessions and i i honestly uh, just in terms of um uh, my sensations on the court like the court is heavy um slow i don't like it i think i lost uh, two and won one probably um, so I'm happy not to play it. But actually the other day, uh, the other night, I was feeling good at night here. I was playing good uh, good tennis. So it might be different this year. Uh, yeah, but again, this question to Amazon, someone, I don't know who works there. Can I just ask to know that we think this will be Rafa's last year or it could be anyway, and you've played him a number of times. Was there a point within those matches that he felt kind of at peak level or was it, was there one that stands out for kind of yeah, him at his best? Yeah, it's it's very tough to talk about peak because if we talk about peak of physicality, I, I would guess that when he was like 25, it would be his peak, and I was nowhere there yet. Uh, but uh, you know, to be honest, all the matches I played against him, uh, the official matches, because the last one was Acapulco. Yeah, I even forgot about it. Um, he was playing well, you know, every match was different on the scoreline, on the uh, actual match, uh, because, you know, some matches, I don't know, I would go on his to his backhand, some to, to his forehand, and he would uh, also change his tactics, but all the matches we played was uh, tough to play against him, great level. Uh, so I don't know if it was uh, his peak or no, but I think he was still winning slams uh, one against me, and uh, I guess it was uh, still his peak. Um, was fun matches, and I would like uh, you know practice with him here. I lost, so I would like definitely like to to play him somewhere before uh, before he finishes.